Hi everybody, this is Emma, a product manager from Microsoft AI framework team. Today, I'd like to introduce Onyx Runtime Web, a new solution for in-browser inference. First, let's take a look at why in-browser machine learning is interested by AI community. As you know, there are variations in the programming languages and the deployment environments. It's challenging to make native AI applications portable to multiple platforms. However, web applications can easily enable cross-platform portability with the same implementation through the browser. Furthermore, running machine learning models in a browser can protect user privacy and accelerate the performance without sending data to the server. It also simplifies the distribution experience without asking for any additional libraries and the driver installations. Then, what's Onyx Runtime Web? It's a new feature in Onyx Runtime to enable JavaScript developers to run and deploy machine learning models in the browsers. Some of you might have heard about Onyx.js. Onyx Runtime Web is the upgraded version, which is going to replace Onyx.js with improved inference performance, model coverage, as well as development experience. This graph shows Onyx Runtime Web architecture. It has two backends, WebAssembly backend for CPU and WebGL backend for GPU. They allow Onyx Runtime Web to accelerate the proof on both CPUs and GPUs. I will dive into each backend in the following slides. WebAssembly is a way to use server-side code on the client side in the browser. Compared to JavaScript, it has faster load time and higher execution efficiency. Furthermore, WebAssembly supports multi-threading, web worker, and SIMD to accelerate bug data processing. This makes WebAssembly an attractive technique to execute the model at a near native speed on the web. We leverage Imscriptum to compile the native Onyx Runtime CPU engine into WebAssembly so that they can be loaded in the browser. By doing that, Onyx Runtime Web WebAssembly backend can run any Onyx model and supports most functionality native Onyx Runtime supports, including full Onyx operator coverage, quantized Onyx model, as well as mini Onyx Runtime build. Onyx Runtime Web also utilizes multi-threading and SIMD in WebAssembly to further accelerate model inferencing. Taking MobileLed V2 as an example in this table, the CPU inference performance can be accelerated by 3.4 times with three thread or with two threads together with its IMD enabled, comparing to the pure web assembly without enabling these two features. Different from WebAssembly backend, which can leverage native Onyx runtime, WebGL backend is a pure JavaScript-based implementation with WebGL APIs. WebGL is a popular standard for accessing GPU capabilities. It's a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D graphics within any compatible web browser. Based on OpenGL, WebGL provides direct access to your computer's GPU. So we adopt WebGL to accelerate the proof with GPU. In addition to that, Onyx Runtime Web also enables many optimizations to further push the performance to the maximum. For example, by leveraging pack mode, 
Onyx Runtime Web reduced up to 75% memory footprint while proving, uh, improving parallelism on GPU inference. All right, operator support and platform compatibility are two important factors for AI development. As we discussed before, since the whole Onyx runtime CPU engine is built into WebAssembly backend, all the Onyx operators are supported by WebAssembly backend. WebGL backend only supports a subset of Onyx operators. We are keeping updating all the, op all the supported operators through this link for users to quickly check. This table shows the compatible platforms each backend supports. As you can tell, both WebAssembly and WebGL backends support most popular platforms in the web world. Here are code snippets of running Onyx Runtime Web. The APIs are quite similar to what native Onyx Runtime provides. Create a inference session then run the model with session run. By doing that, we can provide a consistent development experience for server-side and client-side inferencing with Onyx Runtime. To demonstrate in a web machine learning capability with Onyx Runtime Web, we built up Onyx Runtime Web demo website. Well, you can see several interesting in a browser vision scenarios powered by image models. Here is an example of running mobile net model in a browser. You can choose different backend for CPU or for GPU. We open source this demo website as well for you to dive into detailed implementation. We are keeping improving Onyx Runtime Web and the welcome community's contribution. Here are three major buckets for further improvements. Currently, WebGL backend supports limited Onyx operators to improve the model coverage, not only adding more operators, but we are also working on enabling fallback from WebGL backend to WebAssembly backend. Secondly, there are still a lot of opportunities to further optimize Onyx Runtime Web, including both performance and memory consumption. For example, WebNN is one promising technique Onyx Runtime Web could leverage in the future. Some experimental results have already showed very promising performance gains. Lastly, we are going to work on more demos. Since demos can help showcase Onyx Runtime web capabilities, as well as helping users ramp up quickly. All right, that's the end. Please try out Onyx Runtime web in your web applications. Looking forward to the feedback. Thanks.